Hello and welcome. We're going to do a full honest review of the Sandoz Caracol Eco Resort. Now, you probably saw that thumbnail screaming that there's lousy food, it's overbooked, it's unclean, and there is no beach. It's absolutely true. Now, we're going to do a full walkthrough of this resort, show you the good and the bad, and let you know what you can expect if you book this resort and stay at this location. Now, we'd love to hear from you. If you stayed at this resort, comment below of your kind of experience that you had. If you're planning to go to this resort or already booked this resort, if you have any questions at all, just post them below and we'll respond in time. Thank you so much and let's get started. Now, let's start off at the lobby and make our way through the resort. The lobby area is a medium size with less than adequate seating and no refreshments available. Beyond the check-in and out counter, there is a small bar called the Elephant Bar. Here, long lines persist because there is only one bartender. This is also the resort's only place to grab a coffee or an espresso. Sorry, no cappuccinos, Americanos, or otherwise. The staff says they were instructed not to offer or make anything else but coffee and espressos to save time. Drinks here and across the resort are very watered down. There is also only one beer available, a very clear, non-existent lager. Check-in is often lengthy depending on when you arrive as there is limited staff and very unusable Sandoz Stay app. They make you download this. The app is supposed to make everything easier, but it doesn't work. All the restaurants must be reserved a week ahead of time as there is no availability due to overbooking the hotel. And you cannot pre-book the restaurants before check-in. And you will note, everything of course is booked solid. That's if you got the app to actually work. It needs Wi-Fi, and there is no reliable Wi-Fi anywhere at this resort. Not even if you pay and upgrade your room with superior Wi-Fi. Now beyond the lobby, you will see an open cenote which you can swim in at designated times. The water is cool and there are some fish to observe. This is one of the free eco adventures available at this resort. It's pretty cool. As you travel throughout the resort, you will note that there are many trails through lush tropical forests. This is perhaps the only reason to truly book the resort. The grounds are pretty amazing. It's not a huge resort and you will quickly find your way around quite easily. There are no trams or electric golf carts to take you about. Depending on what room you have will depend on how much walking you will do. Let's take a look at the resort map to orientate ourselves. The rooms on the left are family rooms. They are closest to the lobby and the animals, and this is where you will find a family of spider monkeys hanging out. Below is an upgraded room quadrant for adults only. The rooms loop around a small Brazilian restaurant and a small pool that is very clean. But it's only available to adults and those who have upgraded. Above continues more family-oriented standard rooms. Each standard room has two stiff double beds with sheets and four hard small pillows. There is a small television, a desk, and a closet. There is no other decorations or even pictures on the walls. It's just solid cement, painted gray. Washrooms are quite large with a large shower and two sinks, but black mold persists in many of these rooms and maintenance of lights and the air conditioning units is pretty poor. Windows do not have locks and there are no screens. The sliding doors leading to a small balcony if you get the second or third floor are often found broken. We found eight out of 10 rooms with broken doors, broken screens, and broken windows. Balconies are never cleaned, and bird and monkey poop sits attracting flies. Closer to the center of the resort are upgradable rooms where two queen beds and bunk beds are available. Close to the beach and the elite section are suites and adjoining rooms. But remember, a lot of these rooms are timeshare rooms, so you might not be able to get them. The middle of the resort features a few restaurants, including one of the saddest buffets of any all-inclusive resorts available in Mexico. Food is limited, often old, 
tasteless, and cold. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner offerings have never changed in the three consecutive weeks we were there. A slightly better option was the Mexican restaurant. It's less popular with less food, but at least some things here tasted much better and a little fresher. There is a small theater and a store with gifts and supplies. Everything here is ridiculously overpriced, from $35 suntan lotion to $180 bottles of tequila, which you can buy at the airport for $30. A kids club building is located in this area, as well as a large circular building structure with a bar, tables, and swing chairs. It looks pretty cool, but it's abandoned, so don't expect any food or drinks here or anything. Next to it is the sports bar and play area where one of the three ping pong tables have equipment. One of the two pool tables had balls and the bar here is again, tiny and understaffed resulting in huge lineups and wait times. Hidden in the jungle is a very small pool called the Tortuga pool. It has a small bar and limited seating. This pool was closed often due to high levels of fecal matter. Across from it is the Jade River a natural river you can swim down on a tour. It is free, but you need to book one day ahead. Again, with so many guests, you might find it impossible to book. If you do get a chance, it is enjoyable. And you get to swim down a natural river. The tour lasts about 25 minutes. Next is the main pool. Now, resorts like to block off their pools into separate sections, and Sandoz Caracol is no different. Here, they took an already tiny pool and split it in two with a cement wall and a fence. Now they can say there are two pools here. There is very limited seating and the pool has no swim up bar. It does have a juice bar that offers smoothies, which is kind of cool. Near the pool is the beach, or should I say was the beach. On the Sandoz Caracol website and all booking sites, you will see a pristine white sand beach extending into a bay. Even recently, the booking agent at Sandoz Caracol said the beach is nice. The beach has eroded away and has been abandoned for over a year. There is evidence of a beach bar, showers, and foot washing stations, but is completely destroyed and pretty dangerous. The beach is now a rock shelf littered with waste. They totally misrepresented this aspect, and many people we spoke to were highly disappointed. There seems to be a lack of care at this resort. The workers, and especially management, seem not to care about their guests. It was the first time ever I felt that the workers either didn't care, were unhappy, or simply overworked. Truly sad, considering the hospitality and jovial spirit usually seen within Mexico, and especially at an all-inclusive resort. The water park is great for children, but the water here in the main wading pool designed for children showed signs uh, when we tested it for E. coli and other pathogens. The slides were fun, but were all short and very tame. There is a great need to improve the maintenance here, and the age is really showing as rust and black mold permeate many surfaces. North of the water park is a small Mayan ruin site, which is fascinating to visit as you trek through the jungle. South of the water park is a small animal enclosure with rabbits, chickens, and goats. Further on, you will find a giant man-made hole where deer are stuck. It's odd but this is supposed to be an eco-animal sanctuary. There are several eco-tours available, such as a bike ride or nature walk. These are all free, so take advantage of them. You can book these, if you're lucky, the day before you wish to go. They fill up very fast, so I suggest you get to the info center first thing each day. The romantic boat ride is short but enjoyable, with a guide, three chocolate dipped strawberries, and a bottle of champagne. Other tours are always cancelled because they involve the beach, and the beach isn't there no more. But you can still book them, and then you'll be told they are cancelled. Now, you may have been asked to upgrade, and this is where this resort really pushes the limits. You want a Wi-Fi upgrade? It will cost you but you won't get a better signal. You want a room upgrade? It will cost you, 
but your room will be the same, but with slightly better bedding and maybe a picture on the wall. You may even want to upgrade to the exclusive zones and the royal elite status. Here the rooms are newer and you have access to a very small pool with about 200 other guests. Is it worth the upgrades? Three words. You're kidding, right? With all the upgrade fees, you can easily stay at a five-star resort with excellent food, service, multiple pools, and an actual beach. And for those staying at the Royal Elite part of the hotel, your bonus kind of includes a slimy water reservoir, which holds human waste. You'll know when you're there when the smell hits you. The resort has over 900 and 56 rooms and can host over 5,000 guests. 5,000 guests with two pools and no beach, one tiny buffet, and one bartender per bar. There is really nothing eco about this resort. This is kind of like greenwashing at best. Now, if you really want a beach and a hot, delicious meal, you need to trek over to their sister resort, Sandoz Playa Car. Here you will find a large sandy beach and delicious hot food. You can visit the resort and take advantage of all these amenities, but it takes about 35 minutes to get there and about $45 US to taxi there and back. You can check out the short review of Sandoz Playa Car here. If you found this review helpful in making your decision about staying at Sandoz Caracol Eco Resort or by giving you some insider tips, please like this video, consider subscribing and leaving a comment or question. Thank you so much for joining us. This resort gets an easy two and a half stars out of five overall. The pros, well, there's the lush tropical grounds, a cool selection of activities not found at other resorts, an assortment of wildlife, including spider monkeys. It does have a small water park and a pretty good juice bar. The cons, well, there's a lack of quality of food, a lack of quality of drinks. It's overbooked often. The hotel app does not function, even though you're required to use it. There's poor Wi-Fi, small pools. The cleanliness is questionable. No beach, a lack of care for management, and they are understaffed. Now, the biggest con here is they are often priced higher than resorts nearby that are way better. Can I honestly recommend this resort? No. There are so many options in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, the Riviera Maya, and Tulum that this resort should be ignored. The very few pros outweigh the cons, and the misrepresentation and care is shameful and a black eye on the Sandoz brand.